this is the 3D sheets to do the decoupage with. You've got the main picture there of the ballet shoes and then you have step by step for layering up. So there's the ballet shoes with all the main ribbons on and then you're getting smaller and smaller. This time it's got the soles of the ballet shoes there cut out and you've got the ribbons and finally you've got this one. So all you've got to do now is cut those out ready to assemble. Now I've taken the main picture there and as you can see I've trimmed the borders off, made them to fit the frame. Now I want the ribbons to actually be, look as if they're coming out of the frame. So that fits in there perfectly. All I've got to do now is turn that over and just seal that in. I've cut out all the, the sections here and I've put them onto some wax paper and I've put the double sided uh, pads on the back of these already so it's just a question of sticking them down. Now I've designed it so that these ribbons start coming up the side of the frame so I don't think I've got them wrong that's what I intended to do. So the first one is ready to stick down it does help if you stand up to do this because then you can look down on it and get more a better perspective and get it exactly in the right place when you're laying it over the top don't press it down straight away because it may be wrong and you want it to go in exactly the right place so I'm just gently easing that down and where it goes up to the frame there just gently press it down if you can see that there you go you can see how that's going down there but it's actually the ribbon looks like it's coming out of the frame and do the same with the opposite side I just want it to look really good in this case with the ribbons coming out like so so that's the first layer there you can see on this picture frame I've got the next stage here of the ballet shoes that just peels off you can see on the back there I've got the foam pad you could use silicon glue if you wanted to but I'm using the pads this one again just gently lay it up if it's in the wrong place you can actually bring it up again and position it better sections here. I'm going to peel those off. Let's get this one here first. Now when you put in double sided pads on these, on the thin bits all you have to do is just trim some of the bigger pads so they're much smaller. So this one's going to go on here first. Just like that and you can see how the small section just goes around. Just gently lay it down let say allowing yourself to be able to move it if you need to. You can see how that's building up that nice 3D look now. Next I can take this one off and again just stick that down over the top. So it's going to go there like so, so it's like a double one. And press that down, just get it in the right position like so. Use the lay down over there, like so, and that goes down. Like that. If you've got any of the white showing, just push those underneath and just turn that around like that. And get rid of these bits a little bit later on, just trim them. Then I've got these sections here that go on here, that one goes there. You can see it's a bit like a jigsaw, you do match them up that goes there, that's built up there. Then I've got this section here which goes there and again this one kind of climbs up the wall and that just presses down there. And I've got this one, where does that one go, can you see? <laughs> oh that's there as well, it's got a double layer. So that's just sticking down there. And then I've got the wide one, this one goes on the top here like that and then you've got this section here you just build them up until you've got all the sections on there and that's going there that's giving that 3d look and finally i've got this little bit here it's going on the ribbon there and you have got your 
3D picture.